Hello everyone. Welcome back to this tutorial on Informatica IDMC, MDM SAS. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to perform data profiling using IDMC data profiling checklist. Before going to start today's tutorial, I have one announcement to make. And that is nothing but my new course on Informatica MDM interview preparation. This course is available on Udemy platform. So do not forget to check it out. I have also mentioned the link of this course in the comment section of this video. I hope you will enjoy it. Now let's go ahead and start our today's tutorial. Now what are the data quality issues normally exist in any project? Data quality issues such as incorrect information, overloaded attributes, default values, character limitations, and the manipulating data in order to fit for the consuming system or the target system. Also, we are forcing many cases the users to enter the values. That is nothing but forcing required information. So these are the commonly identified the data quality issues. Let me give the example of incorrect information. Now, in case of name field, we provide the name such as John Doe or John D. We are not enforcing the data quality here. Hence, the user can enter any values. So this leads to incomplete information. Now let's take the example of mandatory field. Let's take the example of a gender field. In this case, you'll see the values such as UNK that is unknown, do not use. In some cases, user do not provide the values. In such cases, if the field is mandatory or the required, then user has to enter some values and they enter any junk values or the values which do not have any significance. In many cases, we have seen very irrelevant information. For example, let us consider the address fields. Near main building or hand over this package to super. This information is not information about the address, but we will still see such kind of information in address field. And this is another example of data quality. Have you seen the address do not use at some example email.com? You might have seen. And this email we unnecessarily maintain in our system and that lead to improper data analysis. We have seen the phone data such as 00 or 999 etc. This information is not going to help us to reach out to the end customer. So why to capture such information? Another example is birth date. We have seen birth date which are not going to add any value for business. Have you seen the date of birth which is in 1800? Do we really care about such kind of data in our system? Not really, right? So these are the commonly identified data quality issues. Not only that, we have also seen the duplicate data in the system. Many applications are designed to achieve the specific business unit requirement. So they may not have the features to identify duplicate. So same customer is entered multiple times. Each application works in silos. So that means they do not consider other applications integration with their application. So that leads to improper or incomplete and duplicate data. Have you seen the US, United States, USA 0, 01 or 100, which is nothing but one and same and that is nothing but the United States of America. So each system within the organization mention the same element differently. And such kind of data inconsistency exists each and every project. This is another problem in the data quality. Here are the six main features of the data quality, which defines good quality data. And those are nothing but accuracy of data, completeness of data, relevancy, validity of data, consistency, and timeliness of data. If you achieve all these features of the data, then you can say your quality of data is good. Now, how can you perform data profiling? There are various ways by using which we can perform data profiling. Very first way is nothing but using manual process. You can get the extract of your data in spreadsheet file, review each and every record for each element and see what are the data issues exist in that. 
which is very laborious and not efficient. The second approach is using SQL database. Of course, you need the SQL expertise to perform the analysis and not only that, it is also a time consuming process. And third option is using Informatica IDMC data profiling tool, which is easy to set up and easy to use. For that, we need to have these three prerequisites. First, we need to have the access to data profile chiclet in Informatic IDMC. We need to have the runtime environment or secure agent established. And then we need connection to the database where the data reside. Or if you have the flat file, then you need to create connection to the flat file. Once we have these three requisites ready, you can perform the data profiling. Now let's go ahead and have the demo about how to perform data profiling. In order to perform data profiling using Informatica IDMC, I have already logged in to this IDMC platform. I can see here the data profiling chiclet. Let's go ahead and click it. In order to create a new profile, we have to go to this new button. Select the data profiling task. Here we have give the name to the profile. We can select the location where the profile will be stored. I'll keep it default. We have to select the connection. Once we are done with selecting connection, then we have to select the file. In this case, we have selected the file connection. Hence, we are going to select the source object as a file. Select the file and click select button. If you want to do the formatting options, click on this formatting option. Depending on the type of file you have selected, you can use the delimited or fixed width. Whether delimited is comma, tab, semi-comma, etc. You can select accordingly. If you want to import first line as a label, select the first line. How much volume you are going to process, that volume you can mention and click OK. You will see the clear capabilities enabled by default. If you want, you can deselect it. Run profile on complete rows. We have to select this option. If you are going to perform drill down, select yes. Now let's see some more properties. You can scroll down. Here we have to select the, all the columns or the column for which you would like to perform data profiling. If you want to perform profiling specific to any region such as North America, European region, you have to define that filter criteria. If you'd like to preview the data, you can select this data preview and you'll see the data here. Let's go ahead and save this profile. Let's go ahead and run this profile. We'll see the my job link, click on that. In case if you'd like to refresh this execution, click on this refresh button, which is on the right hand side. Here we can see there are nine records are processed. So volume is very low in our file. In case if you have the higher volume, that will be mentioned. Within this profile, there are four tasks and there is an outlier profile run also executed. So whole profile execution is completed. Now let's go ahead and see the profile. For that, you can directly go to this profile page and you'll see, click here to update. So you'll see the result tab is created. You can click on this result tab. Right now it is not refreshed, so you have to click this here to update. And now the profile page is loaded. This, this is the one of the way where you can access the profile. The other option is you can go to this my job, click on this profile run. Now the profile page will be loaded with all the steps here. And then you can click on this profile. It will take us to the same page. Here, it will give us the statistics about the execution, how many columns present in this file, how many rules are applied, how many rows are processed, and the date on which it is processed. As we can see, in this profile page, we have the name of the columns, value distribution, means what is the percentage 
values are populated what is the percentage of null values how many records with the null values how many distinct values present that is the percentage how many distinct values that is two records with the distinct values then we have the additional characteristics of the record such as minimum value maximum value and so on now let's consider this phone number field if you select that record right hand side we'll see the trend of this record the null values how many distinct values non distinct values what is the data type whether it has a decimal values fixed length integer values string values if you want to see the data pattern that is also listed here if you want to have the multiple data patterns you can select particular data pattern and that data will be shown at the bottom of the screen for now I'll just select all the record then we have the more frequent values if you are seeing any frequent values in your data set that will be listed here so this profile gives the quick view of your data whether it has any data issues for example if you see any particular email patterns phone patterns null values in those fields that can be captured at the bottom you can select that particular criteria and you'll see that data here on this data set if you have applied any rules you can see those rules here as well so this way we can perform a data profiling using data profiling option comes in informatica idmc now after performing this data profiling you can execute this data profile as many times as you like however in case you want to delete the existing runs you can click on this three dots and go to this delete profile runs and you can run that delete profiles so you can select all these data profile runs and click delete button so all the data profile runs will be cleared from the memory if you want to run particular profile then you can select that particular profile run and you can execute again if you want to see the profile jobs you can click on that particular profile and go to the profile job so this way various activities you can perform on your data i hope you enjoy this tutorial about how to create a data profile in informatica idmc and how to execute it if you have any questions or queries feel free to mention in the comment section of this video and if you like this kind of videos then do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you have a wonderful time